How do guys, it's Look at Geek Game with Scenix, and in this video, we're gonna use all the hacks to speed paint an army in literally a couple of hours. I'll catch you after this. So guys, yes, to get this army done in literally a couple of hours, we're gonna have to pull out all the hacks. I've got to paint 75 models for a Lord of the Rings event tomorrow, and we're leaving it till the night before just to show how possible this is. And there's a lot of hacks in this that are very important and make life so much easier. So let's get started. Using a long piece of wood as a massive paint handle and double-sided foam tape on top of that means you can stick your models to this stick very, very quickly and it holds them very, very securely. Makes painting far more efficient. A cream spray can is a great base coat and it also adds some warmth to the next painting step. Army Painter Speed Paints are great for getting down your main base colour, your highlights and your lowlights all in one step. One benefit to speed paint over alternatives, they don't leave tide marks. So it makes your finish a lot more subtle between your highlights and your shadows. And the reason this happens is because the speed paints stain the models more than, say, contrast paints do. So one step of bathing this all over the models is literally all they needed. Following up with a couple of colours on details like cloths and weaponry, they were more or less done. One of my big speed painting secrets is pale sand dry brushed over entire models. If the green, red, cream, brown, whatever colour that's on the brown spectrum, use pale sand and dry brush it all over the higher extremities, faces, shoulders, weaponry, cloths, bags, whatever that's on there, get it dry brushed with an all over creamy glaze. Has anybody ever called a creamy glaze a dry brush before? I should trademark that. This just makes the models pop and it also highlights details like teeth, eyebrows, things that you'd miss when you're painting like this. And it just makes the model, to the eye, look far better painted on the table. There are better options of metallic paints out there like the Pro Acryl range, but out of pure convenience and speed, the Sharpies make great metallic pens. You don't even have to reload them, you just can go across all your models and paint this on. If you've used paint and you've used a wash over the top, the Sharpie also makes a great edge highlighting tool for all your weaponry. We've all heard the saying, bases and faces. Geek Gaming Scenix has got the quickest and best looking basing option you can buy. Just glue it, dip it, done it. With me and Pickle doing this, we got all 75 models done in literally 15 minutes. So if you were doing it on your own, 30 minutes. It's such a quick, easy option. And once they're done, it looks like a okay painted army ready to play with. And we did this in literally three hours, just over with filming and messing around in between. What do you think to this army? I think it's amazing. And I think it's the bases and the dry brushing of them faces that bring it all together. So guys, it obviously is possible. Me and Pickle did base them at the end, which took about 15 minutes for both of us. So if you were doing it on your own, that's half an hour. But that's still impressive for 75 models. And that's the whole point of the base ready range. Now, there's multiple ranges the base ready is. So if you want to check them out, check them out below. Whether you want Apache plane, like a, a New Zealand look, or you want Mars, or like what I've used here, the Grimdark City Rubble. You can get whatever look you want from just dip and done. Add a couple of tufts if you want to get fancy, and your bases are done. Perfect for speed painting. But a couple of things I want to add. The Army Painter Speed Paints have opened my eyes a little bit. I thought they were just going to be like contrast. The difference with speed paints is that they've got a little bit more water tension. So they don't pool the same. They don't leave tide marks. So when you're using contrast paints, you don't get much staining with it. It just sort of drops into the recesses and it puts like a, a glaze over the higher areas. Whereas with contrast paints, it stains it more, which gives you a more subtle finish. 
which I prefer because it means you could literally just drop this on and leave it. Whereas with contrast paints, you've got to move it around a lot and it doesn't technically make it faster because you're having to move it around, place it, and if you put too much on, it runs all over your model. Whereas the speed paints don't seem to do that. Um, they have that little bit more water tension. It's It dyes it better. And it just has a much smoother, nicer finish. And that's a big eye-opener for me and I'm absolutely shocked by them. And I mean, I've used about five of the colours now. Uh, and when the full range is out, I'll definitely be using them, especially at the price point they are. But anyway, guys, I've really enjoyed this video. It's obviously very, it's obviously very achievable, um, especially in an army like this. If you want to see um, a video on going into colours a bit more in depth and painting up Space Marines, things like that, Pickle from the Pickle Jar has also done a video which is going out at the same time. So check the links below where you can see his video on it as well. Bit of a double whammy for you. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And if you want to support the channel, obviously all my base ready products are below, but please support your local shops. Shops all over the world carry our products now. And if you want to find the link, it's at the bottom of the website and you can find your local suppliers and, and buy from them, which supports me and also supports the local communities as well. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you for the next video. Love, love, love.